YouTube, it is time for the final major leak of the January 10th pack. This is a brand new deck. Are you ready for it? Three, two, one. We're also gonna be watching a video of some duels with it. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> Gold Pride. What the? Let's look at the two boss monsters, and then we'll look at a YCS deck list, an OCG deck list, and we're going to, let's read this real quick. Why is this boss monster good? You have to assume that this is easily summoned. When this is summoned, you could non-target equip face-up monsters your opponent controls to it up to the number of fusion materials used. So at minimum, you're gonna non-target, take control, and put as an equip two monsters. It could frequently be three. So two to three monsters generally is what you're going to non-target, suck up and equip. That is great. Now the smaller boss monster is the Star Leon. Star Leon. During the main phase, quick effect, you target your opponent's face-up monster, and then essentially you destroy that monster. So quick effect, destroy one monster, or effect to non-target suck up. This is gonna be the main boss monster. So let's see that go into plays, and then we're gonna look at the YCS deck list and an OCG deck list. So big shout out to El Exordio Del Duelista. This is their video, their duels. They're frequently uploading new decks and new videos of all the new stuff, so check them out. I am a big fan. Now, let's see what's good. Being used with Punk. So we got the Xeomin, which is gonna be searching for the Ogre. We're gonna use Foxtune Discard Summon, our Sherakusai, which will Fusion Summon, into the Rising Carp, which will summon from the deck, our level five and level three tuner. So this will be a level eight synchro here. We're gonna get into the Gold Pride play soon. So the Deer Note's gonna reborn a level three from the grave instead of a level eight. That's where the combo differs. Now, in order to pop off with Gold Pride, all you have to do is rank three exceed, and then you're doing it. So how do we rank three exceed? We use the field spell, which we search for to summon the other level three, and with the level three, we reborn from the graveyard. That's gonna be our Gold Pride play. So let's do it. So we're going to be banishing the special summon, searching for an extra disruption here and get ready. Uh, okay, we're doing even more combos. This is extra, this is not needed. We're gonna emergency teleport special summon the deck to make a bear into floor. This is not part of the normal combo. And just like that, the chariot carry. What does this card do? You detach a material to add a gold pride spell from your deck to your hand. That, just th two level threes and you got it. Very easily made. Now, we are going to, Terra Top actually being uh, fully unrestricted, but boost the deck, right? Terra Top, one card, uh, Chariot Carry. Someone saying that in the chat, thank you, a flying dino. Yeah, so the Terra Top being unlimited was actually a leak for Gold Pride. Ain't no way. We have the Gold Pride spell, which is gonna be searching for our Gold Pride Captain Carry. Why does this combo up with Punk so well? Because if your life points are lower than your opponent, you could special summon this for free. And when it special summons, we're gonna be activating it to search for the trap. The trap is activated during the opponent's turn, and we'll talk about that in a bit. Get ready for the boss monster. Now, the Exceed's gonna return back to the deck, summon a monster from the deck. That will trigger the continuous spell that searched for the monster to draw a card. So we draw in like crazy with this deck. Draw no hand trap, maybe. Boom, Ash, easy. Now, what else we have here? We have Imperm onto the Baron. This is extra, not even part of the normal combo here. And then he's gonna be searching for the Rite of Error's Mirror, summoning a token, setting up the Fateful Adventure, pop it with the Ogre, which you search for with the core combo. So that actually is part of your combo. Foolish the Angler, Ash, which we drew off of the Continuous Spell, randomly drawing into it. We're gonna get into the Gold Pride play soon. If your opponent summons a monster, normal or special, target that monster, and you're going to destroy it by special summoning a Gold Pride from the deck. So get popping and we're gonna be summoning the Leon. Leon's gonna special summon from the graveyard, the one that fusion summons. So Leon could synchro summon during the opponent's turn, and the other card in the graveyard that's about to be summoned, the Roller Baller will fusion summon during the opponent's turn. So Leon, synchro, baller, fusion. And the star Leon synchro is gonna be pop a monster on the field if your life points are lower than the opponent. So get ready for that. We're gonna be using another punk uh, disruption to negate. Now we're gonna use the Leon to destroy. And now we're gonna fusion summon. We fusion summoned using two monsters so we could suck up to two monsters the opponent controls into the back row. Just get sucking, boom. Like this is such overkill, it's ridiculous. 
and if they use their effects, they shuffle back in the deck during the end phase to then summon the monster from the graveyard or from the deck, and they can activate again during your turn. It's not just during the opponent's turn. That also triggers the spell that's kind of like branded regain to draw a card again. So now we're gonna draw a card, thank you very much. That's gonna recycle the Leon, and then let's just finish up this duel, and let's show what it looks like going second. And the Rollerballer is a level five, so five plus level three tuner. That's our Excel start of Synchron. That is nuts right there. So we're drawing, okay, yeah, lethal it up, get a boost in, lethal damage here, we win. Now, let's see what going second looks like. So let's see how well we do against Purely. Purely gonna get popped by the Ogre, trying to stop it from exceeding, but the Happy's gonna make it indestructible from the pop here. Come to me off the top of the deck, a random purely card. We have Gamma, you know, we have a lot of non-engine disruptions here to mess up the purely turn. They are now finally going to the main phase and you know, they don't just have a monster negate, they also have spin with the purely leap. So they will be able to go into the X purely. So we got to play through about two disruptions here. Can we do it? We're gonna emergency teleport, which unfortunately is semi-limited. I thought that this card could go to three on the ban list possibly because this is coming out. We got the Xeomin. It's important to be lower life than the opponent so that we could special summon our gold prides from our hand. Beauty's going to negate, surely, okay. We got follow-up Foxy Toon. We're gonna keep the Captain Cur Carry in our hand. And now he's going into the X purely Nor, spinning. Now there's no more disruptions here. So all, we have uninterrupted gold pride after going through the disruptions with the punk engine. What can we do? Let's find out. Special summon, search a trap. The trap's not that good. We can't use it right here, right now, but we could rank three exceed, searching for the spell. Also sending the rollerballer from the deck to the graveyard. We're also gonna be searching for a rollerballer. I think we could have grabbed Leon here. It probably would have been better. We're gonna fusion summon, suck up the X purely exceed, just like that. And then you may be thinking we're out of disruptions, right? Yeah, it wasn't lethal, but we're gonna be setting up even more disruption during the opponent's turn. We're turning back in the deck, maybe drawing into a hand trap here, did not draw into a hand trap, and we could fuse again, but we have nothing to fuse into with, right? But the trap will summon from the deck if they were to summon. So if they summon, we then pop the monster, summon from the deck, then fuse again, then we win. Let's go. Now, we should just lethal here, so we'll watch the lethal, and then we'll get into the deckless plays. Open field, you know, surely we could uh, cook up some lethal damage here. It's not that slow of a deck, right? Carp's gonna summon from the deck here. Let's speed this up. Let's go on times 1.5. Super speed. Searching for the trap. We have lots of disruption ready if they were to survive this somehow. Okay, we have the amazing dragon, reborn from the graveyard, and then wham bam, thank you ma'am, lethal damage. So I'll show you their deck list, then I'm gonna show you tournament topping deck list. So the deck analysis, you can copy something like this, or let's look at the golden pride deck type breakdown on Yu-Gi-Oh meta.com. Soon to be released, probably in February. This is how the TCG is playing it. You can take a screenshot. This is how the OCG is playing it. Now scrolling on down here, I opened up some deck lists from TCG and OCG. We're gonna be looking at first, top 32 North American World Championship, 3000 players. This is what the main deck looked like. So we didn't really see the Nitro Head, which could summon a token on their field to play around in permanence and evenly matched and could also mess up a link player because you could summon the token behind the link extra monster zone and then whenever you want you can make it so any monster adjacent to the token gets destroyed it's a little bit extra disruption in the deck and then here is the extra deck here now i want to look at the ocg deck list this one because they're playing a little bit of a different monster in the extra deck so here is the main deck not playing the punk that searches for the dangerous gabu not really sure why i feel like we could just toss it in and that would have been good but in the extra deck here even playing a card like navy dragon mech i'm not commenting that this is coming out i'm just showing you that this is another cool card disruption to use with leon leon on will be able to during the main phase summon this level nine synchro and then you could target face up cards including monster spell and trap up to the number of tuners in your graveyard, which you're gonna have a bunch of tuners in the grave, negate their effects until the end of the turn. So that's pretty cool. Summon, negate their entire field that's face up pretty much. Or you could go into the Star Leon to destroy a monster. And then the fusion monster being the baller, non-target suck up the equips. 
And I guess that's pretty much all I really want to say about this. So look forward to this. Gold Pride and all of its great support are going to be released in the January 10th pack. Thank you very much. And just like that, we're going to be leaking every week besides possibly the new pack day. I think we'll be focusing more on that. But I will be continuing the leaks as we're hopping into February. I have many more months of leaks. I'm knowing when all the good stuff's coming. If we check out the tier list real quick, this is the past month of TCG. We want to do tier three events only. It kind of looks like that, but you know, that was just one event. So if we go post set Age of Overlord, past four events looking like that. And then we got the OCG past one month. So anything you're looking forward to here, let me know. Voiceless voice, I may be knowing when that's coming out. Infernoid support, Fire King, Pure Snake Eye, Rescue Ace. There's a bunch of Labyrinth cards we don't have. We don't have the Purely cards yet. They, there, it's like a whole new meta awaiting us very soon. Let's go.